Hello everyone. Wait, let me clean this off. Hello everyone, it's Beauty for Ashley. As you can see from the title. I, sorry, my hair is big, bouncy, and I have all thanks to Pattern Beauty. I took so long because I was so, let me be real with you. I was kind of turned off by the pattern detangling nectar. I was kind of turned off by that because I, pay, I paid like $38 for that. And I think it was 28 or 38 I don't remember exactly. I paid so much for that. And it, I just, in the video, I remember saying that you should just go with the African Pride Pre-Poo, which is like $5, and the big container is $7, which I have the big container, because I'm like, if I'm detangling my hair, I need that. I need that in my life. I need that in my life. You know, so, yeah. Um, I want to share something with you. Sometimes, like, this Pattern Beauty Gel works with everything, right? It works with everything. Everything that I have, it works with except for two things but everything else it works with moisturizers curly creams um leave-ins hair milk this works with it so this is 28 dollars, and it's 16 it's 15 ounces that's a lot of gel you're getting it's 28 dollars, but i paid i got 15 percent off so i paid 25 dollars for it so your girl is very pleased with it. But what I used it with was the Inculus hair treatment, which left my hair feeling like hair. It feels like, now it feels like hair, but before it felt really dry. So, wait, let me pull this down a little bit. All right. Your girl wants to talk to you about something. I was reading the Gabriel Conti book and he made a great contrast. He said, you know, I, I was wrestling with the Lord about how I could use this life to glorify God, how I could use this life to spread the gospel of Jesus. And his mother had HIV and his dad does not have HIV. Like, that that's what blows my mind. And all her kids don't have HIV. Even before there was medicines on the market to make sure that the baby doesn't get HIV and you don't die from HIV. Before that, the kids still didn't have HIV. So... Your girl was there and I was reading this book and he said, so what are you going to do with the miracle of life? And that just set me ablaze because he said it again at the very end of the book. And I'm recording this for future Ashley to look ahead and be like, you know what? A few years down the road, if I choose to get a better camera or not, your channel is going to blow up in the mighty name of Jesus. I just plead the blood of Jesus on that prayer right now in Jesus name. Um, I'm called to this, what I'm doing. So it's funny. Like I was, I was told that's my testimony of YouTube or how I got on YouTube. If you didn't know, um, I was told to do YouTube. The Lord didn't tell me to spread the gospel on the YouTube. He just said, do YouTube. 
Sorry, there's a car outside just disrespecting me. But um, he called me to do YouTube. He didn't say preach the gospel. He didn't say sing. He didn't say do this, do that. He didn't say that. He just said do YouTube. And I was like, Lord, I am, I am a listener and a follower of YouTubers. Like, I just, I straight up only watch YouTube. How in the world am I gonna do YouTube? So I was kind of taken aback, but I was like, Lauren, at the time I was dating this guy, he was a sweet guy. I ruined things, but that's besides the point. Um, he said, Ashley, somewhere out there, somebody needs a channel just like yours. So that's what gave me the real kick in the pants to do the YouTube channel. And lo and behold, the boyfriend is no longer here, but I'm still doing the YouTube channel six years later. Starting afresh. Starting afresh. Starting afresh. So, sorry, my mom was calling me. I'm recording a video. This comes first. But your girl... Realized that in the book, back to Gabriel Conti, in the book, he was talking about how he wrestled with the Lord. Jacob wrestled with the Lord and, you know, the angel broke his hip. I'm like, dang. But he left out better than when he was broken. He's broken, but he left out better. And Gabriel said, you know, he's broken, but he left out yet better. And I'm like, how many of us are like that? Because, like, on my journey to life, I got broken through the mental health issues. But I'm trusting and believing in the miracle. Sorry, the train. I'm trusting and believing for the miracle. May. Miracle May. And that's the word for you. It's Miracle May. What you've been waiting for for the longest time right now what you've been praying for, what you've been consistently asking the Lord for, you're going to see it happen in May. Just hold on to that. That's what I'm doing. This woman released that word to me on Instagram, um, on her post, and I was like, man, Miracle May. And I've been praying about my, men about, sorry, the mental health issues that I deal with. And I've been seeing improvements wildly, radically. I've been seeing improvements. So your girl is so blessed to see an improvement in her mental health. Your girl is so blessed to see the reduction of hearing voices, the reduction of anxiety, the reduction, the reduction, the reduction. And I'm just so grateful for it. Thank you, Lord. And I pray that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No retaliation shall come against me, Lord God. Any, any evil that is lurking, any evil that is watching, any evil, let them watch. Because you prepare a table in the place of my enemies. Lord God, I pray that my land will be restored. I pray that everything you promised me will come to pass in the month of May. Or even later if you feel. Because it's all on you, Lauren. It's all on you. I'm on your timeline. It doesn't have to just be May. But I thank you for starting it off in May. Lord God. I pray today that... The people of God 
the people who are learning about God will open their Bibles and hear from you. Because I've been doing that. And, you know, not just devotionals, which I love, but it's not enough. It, it's not enough for me anymore. So, Lord, thank you so much for revealing to me that, you know, you could get strategies on how to pray from the Word of God. You could get the blueprint of life from the Word of God. You could hear God's voice through the Word of God. Lord God, let them... Don't take a drink for how many times I said, Lord God, you'd be really drunk. Um, Lord God, I pray... <laughs> I pray that you really pour out your fresh anointing upon them. Pour into them, Lord God. Lord, draw them near to you. Draw them near to you, Lord God. Draw them to you, Lord God. Draw them closer to you, Lord God. Jesus, I pray that these people of God will want to read your word. And I pray, Lord God, that... I will be steadfast in reading your word and not to be all pious like, oh, I read my word, I read my word, I read my word, I'm better than you. No, not from that end, but to make me more like Christ in Jesus' mighty name, to follow your commandments because I love you, which is simple. Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. His new commandments. Not the old ones by Moses. Those could never be fulfilled. That's why Jesus came and fulfilled them all for us. So when you see me, you see Jesus because the Holy Spirit is on me. The Holy Spirit is in me. So, thank you, Lord, for just really blessing this. And I recommend Pattern Beauty. I recommend that um, you read the Gabriel Conti book, which is Meaning for Mission. I highly recommend that because I couldn't put down the book. I was reading it like a week or two straight and I finished the book. It was so good. Man, what a book. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah, let me show you the book. Let me show you the book. One minute. All right, here's the book. A Mission for Meaning. And ladies, before you say anything, like, oh, you better, oh, away because he's married. <laughs> but, yeah. So... You know what, just, I pray that you will find the Lord in everything. I pray that you'll see his goodness. I pray that his goodness will chase you down. I pray that his mercy will chase you down. I pray that his love will, you'll just overflow into his love. That you can't get comfortable in the sin in your life because his love is just chasing you down. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Alright. I think I spoke enough. I hope if you guys like this, um, if you guys like this, give me a little feedback if you want more of this, you know, more chatty stuff. Because I'm always trying new products. I am. It's just I need to get in the habit of recording my routine. As you can see, I've I've not record. Sorry, there's construction going on outside. They're just loud. But as you can see, I have not recorded a routine video in the longest while, and I just have to get into it. I may just pray for me that I have a zeal to do my calling you know i could pray for myself let's let's pray let's finish praying lord god i pray that what you call me to do on youtube let me do 
Lord, you call me to do YouTube. I'm doing YouTube. Lord God, help me to do it with excellence. Help me to do whatever I do to the glory of you, Lord God. Help me to walk uprightly. Help me to acknowledge you in everything and you direct my path. Lord God, I acknowledge you in this video. Direct my path. Help me to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Help me to grow. Help me to flourish. Help me to just be so favorable on the algorithm, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Bye.